Let hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke to Moses. Go down now, because your people, whom you brought out of Egypt, have apostatized. They've been quick to leave the way I marked out for them. They have made themselves a calf of molten metal and have worshipped it and offered it sacrifice. Here is your God, Israel, they have cried, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. I can see how headstrong these people are. Leave me now. My wrath shall blaze out against them and devour them. Of you, however, I will make a great nation. But Moses pleaded with the Lord his God. Lord, he said, why should your wrath blaze out against this people of yours, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with arm outstretched and mighty hand? Why let the Egyptians say, ah, it was treachery that he brought them out to do them to death in the mountains and wipe them off the face of the earth. Leave your burning wrath, relent and do not bring this disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, your servants, to whom by your own self you swore and made this promise. I will make your offspring as many as the stars of heaven, and all this land which I promised I will give to your descendants, and it shall be their heritage forever. So the Lord relented and did not bring on his people the disaster he had threatened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, remember us for the love you bear your people. Lord, remember us for the love you bear your people. They fashion a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanging the God was a glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. Lord, remember us, for the love you bear your people. They forgot the God was a saviour who had done such great things in Egypt. Such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. Lord, remember us, for the love you bear your people. For this he said he would destroy them, but Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. Lord, remember us, for the love you bear your people. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God loved the world so much, he gave us his only Son that all who believe in him might have eternal life. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Were I to testify on my own behalf, my testimony would not be valid. But there is another witness who can speak on my behalf, and I know that his testimony is valid. You sent messengers to John, and he gave his testimony to the truth, not that I depend on human testimony. No, it is for your salvation that I shall speak of this. John was a lamp, a light and shining, and for a time you were content to enjoy the light that he gave. But my testimony is greater than John's. The works my father has given me to carry out, these same works of mine, testify that the father has sent me. Besides, the father who sent me bears witness to me himself. You have never heard his voice. You have never seen his shape. And his word finds no home in you, because you do not believe in the one he has sent. You study the scriptures, believing that in them you have eternal life. Now these same scriptures testify to me, and yet you refuse to come to me for life. As for human approval, this means nothing to me. Besides, I know you too well. You have no love of God in you. I have come in the name of my Father, and you refuse to accept me. If someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe, since you look to one another for approval, and are not concerned with the approval that comes from the one God? Do not imagine that I am going to accuse you before the Father. You place your hopes on Moses, and Moses will be your accuser. If you really believe him, you would believe in me too, since it was I that he was writing about. But if you refuse to believe what he wrote, how can you believe what I say? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As the solemnity of Easter approaches, dear friends, let our prayer to the Lord be all the more intense, that all of us and the whole multitude of the baptised, together with the entire world, may come to share more abundantly in his sacred mystery. That God may be pleased to increase faith and understanding in the catechumens who are to be initiated by holy baptism in the coming Paschal Solemnity. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. The peoples in need may find help, and the peace and security may be firmly established everywhere. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer that all who are afflicted or suffering temptation may be strengthened by his grace. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer, that all of us may learn to distribute the fruits of self-denial for the good of those in need. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Have mercy, O Lord, on the prayers of your church, and turn with compassion to the hearts that bow before you, that those you make sharers in the divine mystery may never be left without your assistance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.